I've never really had a go of vlog on GMBN Tech. I guess I've kind of always thought that was Blake and Neil's turf over on GMBN. But I'm going to Mountain Bike Festival, the first time I've been to anything major in the last 18 months. So I thought this was a great opportunity just to do some filming, uh, take the camera along with me and have a bit of fun. I'm also taking part in a few things. So uh, let's see how it pans out, shall we? arrived on site for the Malvern's Classic. Absolutely stoked to be here. It's gonna be an awesome event. Woohoo! Everybody asked me where do you want it and I've always said I don't mind. So one of the coolest things about coming to a mountain bike festival is you get some legit mountain bike stars. None other than G Afton here. Uh, really pleased to see G on his feet, but more importantly, everyone knows about that. What, what are you feeling about the festival? Do you like the vibe? This is sick. This is actually my first time here at Marvin's and I'm impressed. Like massive amount of people here, cool vibe. Like the atmosphere is very unique. Yeah, very cool people here and I'm, yeah, having a great time. I'm seeing more families and kids riding bikes than I think I've ever seen in a single place. It's, uh, it could be the next year after somewhere out there, what do you reckon? Yeah, I'm sure of it. I've met a lot of young lads that are absolutely keen. They're here, they're racing the downhill, the slalom, they're doing the cross country and, and everyone is so keen as well. Like they, they know everything about it, they've got their bikes, they're in their kit and just having such a good time. Yeah, awesome stuff. Um, just going to check out, we're going to hang out and have a, have a chin wag with us, what the festival's about, just to soak up and enjoy the vibes. <laughs> How good is that? Hello people. Hello. Hi. Hello. Is there a fancy dress costume for me to collect? Oh, that's oh, right. judge's oh, yeah. one. Yeah. yeah. What size are you large? Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's got everything you need, dude. Thank you very the much. What's missing is a set of sunglasses. We're okay. to you on Sunday. Yep. Um, yeah, just because Chopper's got hold of them at the minute. That's okay. All you need. Your jacket, bandana, and then you. A little clipboard. Them. Awesome. Yeah, you're <laughs> set. <laughs> yeah, it's <should be> good. <laughs> How good is that? Sunday's going to be funny. He looks less than his brother. Uh, crazy golf. Let's go here in this little patch. Do you want to know a cool little story? I actually came here in 1992 and 1993 and I was the same as all the other kids that are here. I was the one going around getting my picture taken and having a t-shirt signed and in fact I still have my t-shirt signed by the greats from back in the day. Uh, Jez Avery, Dave Hemming, like they're all on there, Sally Hibbard and in fact my picture was actually in MBUK magazine I think in 1993 uh, when I was I was a super fan so this is amazing to go, see everything go full circle. Uh, it's just really cool being here. It wouldn't really be a tech vlog with, without any tech, would it? New and old. So come with me and we're going to have a little rummage around the pits at the Morvan's Classic and I'll show you some of the coolest stuff I can find. As if I've not seen enough retro stuff already, just pop by to see my friend Jamie from Mountain Mania. As we know, he's got quite a few bikes. Look, you've got a Sintesi there, you've got a Pace, you've got two foes. You've got the foes I borrowed for that Shimano video way back alongside the Trek OCLV there with the original XTR on there. Saracen, you've got the giant ATX-1 mountain cycle, San Andreas of some kind, I don't know which one. Santa Cruz Bullet, Durango, I don't even know what this is. Foes, two more foes there. But look at these. Bomber RACs. So they're a reverse arch composite fork, uh, inverted design, 80 mil travel. Hen's teeth right there. These things, you just do not see these things. And of course, Jamie's got a pair, isn't he? But uh, just insanely cool. Full carbon, one piece upper there. Kind of, I guess, a little bit like a shiver single crown, but uh, way cooler. 
A while back, G Atherton came to see us at the GMBN Tech Set, bringing a bike down, uh, one of their own frames using their unique combination of carbon tubes that bonded into additive manufactured titanium lugs, uh, which is essentially made from powdered titanium. It's an incredible process. Uh, and in fact, as you can see here, um, you can see some of the lugs, the way that they come out of the machine, like incredible stuff. Now, of course, they've got a lot of different bikes available in the range, but I've just spotted this one. Now, this is work in progress. It's not a production bike but we might see it at some point. Uh, this one's currently running 130 mil travel on the back and 140 on the front. Uh, I've heard that they've been running also with a 36 on the front, running 150 mil travel, and they reckon that this thing could be a wicked little addition to the range. I mean, you know my feelings on short travel bikes. I'd love to see them make this bike. What do you reckon? Uh, so a passerby has just seen, walked past this bike and we just grabbed him to have a look at it. I've never even seen this before. So this is a 24 inch, effectively a BMX Cruiser by Yeti, 24 inch Aki tracks on there, 24 inch wheels, obviously. Apparently there are only three of these ever made. Uh, this one was Rob Roop's. Uh, Rob Roop apparently married Tomax's sister. So it's just, some of the stories behind this are insane. Check out the handlebars on there. It's got the Chris King headset. It's even got some milled Shimano cranks. I've never seen that before. That is just absolutely insane. That, I reckon, is probably the coolest pub bike in the world. I would pay a lot of money for this. And here's a brand that I don't really know much about, I've got to confess, Kelly's. And they're massive, they make some really good e-bikes. I think we've seen them on EMBM. But look at this downhill bike and look at that shock mount. That is awesome. What a cool way around a solution of keeping a nice, neat front triangle there. That's really smart, I like that. And also, just hovering in the background is one of the coolest little push-along kids' bikes. Check that bad boy out over there. Right, well, I've checked out the pits. I mean, to be fair, I could be here for days just rummaging around the pits and, uh, and chatting to people. Uh, but let's go and see what some of the racing is all about. Now, the cool thing about the Melvins is you can race a bike, but it's not focused on the racing, and that makes it a great thing. If you're doing your first race, it's the perfect non-threatening environment to do it. And you get to race the same tracks, the downhill, the cross country, the slalom, as the pro riders. It is brilliant. I'm gonna go and have a look at the whip off though, because this is something new for the Melvins and there's definitely gonna be some thrills and spills here. We just uh, sat at the bottom of the hill right by a massive airbag where uh, whip or finals are going to happen. Prime place here, snap a few pickies. You'll probably see these on the tech Instagram and online as well. Um, oh yeah, see what happens. Watch Ben Deacon do some old school whips and some of the younger, cooler kids doing some really cool whips. <laughs>
Okay, well, that's a wrap on the whip off. Uh, saw plenty of crashes, some insanely cool new school tricks and stuff going on there, uh, as well as the old school uh, Ben Deacon look back style whips. All good stuff. Uh, I'm actually DJing tonight, so I better get my clogs in gear, get set up, uh, have a uh, pre gig beer, and enjoy myself. Oh, that was a big night last night. Um, so good to uh, play on a big sound system, to feel for the mountain bikers. Uh, yeah, great vibes. This morning, though, a little bit different. So uh, have get a coffee and me and that sort of stuff. And then it's uh, over to the Muck Off Retro Show and Shine. So this is just like what you see at the car shows, uh, where people sort of just show off their really cool, pristine vehicles, in this case, retro mountain bikes. And there's a panel of judges to uh, decide which one is the coolest one. I think there's a grand on offer. Uh, I'm one of the judges, so I've got to get my fancy dress costume on for this. Look out. Going down for the Muck Off Retro Show and Shine. Looking like a pretty good, eh? So some of the bikes here for the Retro Show and Shine are pretty insane. So down there we've got uh, Palmer Replica FSRs, uh, Intense M1 SL down there. But right here we've got an original Tomax Rally. Uh, titanium lugs, Merlin tie lugs, bike, carbon tubes. He's actually Tomax bike. Not a replica, that's his bike. That was a bike I always wanted to ride as a kid. That's got to be up there for one of the winning bikes, I reckon. Watch the space. I tell you what, I can't believe the condition of some of the retro bikes here on show. Some of them are literally brand new, like new old stock. I've, I've never saw them that condition the first time around, let alone now, and so much later on. So close. I can't 
believe that was actually Tomac's bike. Now that is nuts. Tomac to me is the greatest racer of all time. He did everything. Uh, I could talk about a Tomac for a long time. And in fact, there is a video coming up where I do talk about a Tomac. So keep an eye out for that one on tech. Uh, but for now, actually, I believe my wife and my boy Dustin are coming to see us. Uh, so I'm going to take Dustin out for a ride because I thought it'd be kind of cool for him to have his first Melbournes. Uh, and I'll tell him a little bit about what it was like when I was last here. I'm well excited. Uh, this is Dustin's first Malvern Hills Classic. I was first here in 1992. Uh, it's really cool to be back. It's an amazing festival. All got life for a rock garden here, one handed with the little one on a bike, but we're safely through. As you can see, the events going on in the background. Uh, it's so good to be here, and it's so good to have Dustin here as well. It's just uh, it's such a great family vibe. Awesome stuff. Right, we're going to put some horsepower down and have some fun. There we go, flying at the top. There's the old obelisk. Pretty cool to see that. Been a long time. All right. Back in the day, it was all about the lake jump here, which was actually, was, it was carnage. You just couldn't get away with it now. Drunk and naked people with pretty much a table propped up, just hitting the water. Now we've got this lake ride, actually, it's much better because you pretty much have to race to get across here. If I hadn't had a beer, I might have had a go, but maybe next year. Yeah, it's good. Everyone's just chilling at the end of the day, sunset. Man, it's place awesome. <laughs> tell you what that was absolutely amazing and exactly what the mountain biking community needed a proper festival a few days in a beautiful place east north deer park uh, in near ledbury in herefordshire just absolutely amazing loved it lucked out on the weather so many cool old contacts uh, met some great new friends as well and hopefully i'll get to hang out with them next year so i've got a serious amount of unpacking to do there so uh ta-ta for now see you later <laughs>